Massacre. And we have one last song on today's Massachusetts Music Review Volume 2. Uh, and we have Quinn Reed, Lay You Down. And I want to lay you down. Things ain't been the same since you came around. All the feelings faded, people changing now. And I just want to lay you down. Who is a, is he a Paper City Studios artist or is he just an affiliate? Just an affiliate at this an point. Affiliate. Okay. Um, but definitely a friend of the stew. Uh, awesome. And a friend of me personally, for sure. Uh, Quinn Reed, lay you down. This cut right here, man, I think Quinn is really showing a lot of progress. And, uh, you know, again, I have my biases because I know Homeboy specifically. Shout out to you, Quinn. Um, but I also, I think... I have some more context on him, uh, you know, because I've listened to a right. lot of his tracks. Um, so I can see the progression a lot. But I think whether or not you've heard him before, um, when you hear this track, it sounds polished. Homeboy sounds smooth. Um, I have here, uh, for some reason, I don't have the lyrics written down, but the opening lyrics to Lay You Down was really were really good. I really liked them a lot. I thought... It was a smooth kind of um, way to introduce the song. And, you know, some things I have written down is, like, Quinn's voice has come a long way. You know, like, uh, again, like, Quinn has always actually been more of an R&B kind of artist. Um, and he, he likes singing. And he, he's kind of also one of those artists that uh, plays with auto-tune a lot. You know, is really comfortable in that kind of pocket. But I felt like I heard some of, some of these melodies um on here that were just him you know what i mean and i thought it was smooth i think the hook is really catchy like the hook is super strong in my opinion really really smooth um and i i think some of his rapping is you know like i said i, I don't think that's necessarily his forte but the rapping in here i still think is strong and again shows the progression of him as an artist which if anything like you know if you leave with this it's like quinn reed man that boy's at least growing you feel me like <laughs> it's it's at least always going up every track so and i i i also made sure that we uh talked about this track when i heard it because i had to add this to the list because I, I think it really deserves it um homeboy yeah. also rides the beat throughout the track like whether it's him rapping, busting it down for a little bit, or him singing, like he just sounds like he's always in a pocket. You know what I mean? And I, that's what I think is really smooth about the whole thing. Uh, I like I like the hook um, even better when uh, he has the uh, he has some dubs under it. Like in the second half, he he puts a couple doubles under it that I think make it really full that I almost would have wanted the whole time, but I think it also lets the track kind of progress throughout the whole thing. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. I'm not mad at that. Uh, but either way, man, I was just, I, I almost, uh, I don't have much to say because like it was a very solid track throughout. I, I think some of the lyrics themselves uh, were impressive, but it wasn't necessarily about all the lyrics. It was like, this is where it's like, you can tell he's also has that R and B background to me because it was just more about this vocal delivery and these melodies that were just smooth, man, real smooth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I actually that's one of the first words I wrote down too was just smooth and catchy vibe, and that's how I felt really about it. Um, so I like this song. I have a few drawbacks from it and a couple of different things. Actually, completely opposite as you. So I. I actually did not care much for his singing as much as I did for his rapping. I actually thought his rapping was a little stronger than his singing. I thought the singing was really? a little... Really? I thought the singing at times was a little pitchy, um, almost too high. Um, I can understand For that. me, yeah, just not something that I uh, really resonated with as much. I actually, so I definitely preferred his rapping. So it's interesting now knowing the background because I actually didn't... I was not aware of a lot of his background. This is actually the first song of his I've ever heard. Um it's definitely solid. It's definitely, it's not my favorite in the listing. I will say that. I, I definitely don't mm -hmm. um, enjoy it as much as some of the other ones that we've talked about tonight. Uh, but it's, it's, it's a solid song. Uh, the acoustic guitar chords are really great. I like that aspect of it. It kind of gives it a, uh, like a sad boy melodic uh, sort of, so I can kind of see where he's going with that hey, a little bit. Quinn, you know, sad boy is your bag. You know that. So, so if that's his bag, if that's <laughs> his bag, then. definitely his bag. 
if that's his bag, then that's great. I just, I, and, and the other thing that I really like about it, and a good way to get me really uh, interested in a song is, is the high pitched vocal sample that he uses. I think that was a really great touch as well. Um, so there's definitely a lot of elements to the song I really enjoy. Um, it just at the end of the day, though, it doesn't stand out. It's not as punchy as some of the other songs that I've heard. And even with this genre, it's not quite as punchy to me. Um, if it came, if it came on again, I would definitely enjoy it. I wouldn't skip it. It's just not a song I'm going to seek out and go listen to all the time. I think it's a little bit run of the mill. Um, but that does not take away from like his talent as an artist. Like I think he, I, I certainly like the rapping on it for sure. I like more than the singing, which is, which is, again, is interesting that, that we both, we kind of differ on that. That a little is bit, really interesting. Did you have any, not to put you on the spot, but do you have any bars for that that you liked? Uh, nothing off the, the top of the of my that. head that I really like stuck out to me. I just, I just certainly, um, overall just liked the vibe of it. Um, more yeah. or less. It was I, an I, energy shift when we started rapping for sure. Mm, mm, definitely. Um, yeah, I, I, again, not a ton to say on it. I just, I, I really did like the, how smooth it was. Um, and it's a song, like I said, like, I think maybe it's a setting thing too. Like I, again, we, we talked about this last, last, uh, episode too, where if I was listening to this late at night, you know, with just kind of chilling and things like that, like, I, I think I would sort of in that vibe, I think I would like it a lot better. So maybe I need to try it in that, in that setting and maybe I'll get a different mm-hmm. outcome. I won't think it's as run of the mill as I, as I did when I, and again, I've only, I've, I've heard it a few handful of times and um, so maybe, but again, I will say this though. Every time I do listen to it, I like it a little bit more than I did the last time. So he's an artist that's on my radar. I definitely want to hear more of his stuff and what he has going forward. Cause if this is like where he's gotten to, I definitely want to see where he then takes it um, in terms yeah. of his, his talent definitely. and his, he's a t- I, I, I want to hear more from him for sure. Um, I yeah. think he's got a lot of promise as an artist and he's got a good ear for melody, man. Cause I love the melody on this thing. And the, I like the vocal sample, yeah. like that, that is great. Uh, those elements are awesome. I just think the, the singing needs a little bit of work pitch wise. And if, and if mm-hmm. other than, and maybe if he could give a little bit more punchiness in, 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 in the, in the delivery of it, besides that, mm-hmm. not, not a lot bad to say about it. Not a lot of just to say about it in general. I just, I think this is a good vibe song that people should definitely give a try. Um, if you like yeah. this style, um, like I immediately uh, thought about just in terms of aesthetic, I, I immediately thought about a song like on red, like lucky day and stuff like that. Like where it has like some of those vocal textures and things like that, that I really enjoyed mm-hmm. from a song like that. If you, if you like R and B and melodic style hip hop, I think you, you know, something that you'll definitely enjoy. Um, definitely. But yeah. Definitely looking and forward I, to hearing more. I also think, uh, you know, uh, this is, like like I was saying, I've seen a lot of Quinn's progress. Homeboy's low key also like a real workhorse. So, you know, if you don't if this one isn't your favorite, he'll probably have another three singles out by like in the next month or Good. month and a half. So that's where Good. that's also just beautiful to watch, you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Seeing him work on it and today, or for you, the rapping was really strong. Somebody who for me, it knows was, yeah. him. Uh, as an R&B kind of artist, the rapping uh, stood out to me differently. So I think that's the funny part about this whole thing. And, and this right. is where it's like you win some, you lose some as an artist. But the only thing you can do is, you know, go up, go up to bat again. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, yeah, and, that's, where, sure. and that's where it's really admirable, admirable mm-hmm. about Quinn is like his his output. Um, he puts a lot of stuff in. And I know, you know, not to you know talk about homie situation too much but i'm pretty sure he's making all his shit from his room man and uh like so that's like uh that's just another testament to how much commitment he has to this and uh how much he's just kind of doing it on his own and i do think uh i can definitely empathize with some of the singings maybe a little pitchy and maybe that's part of me uh being so familiar with Quinn's voice that mm. uh at this point, it's almost uh, part of, uh, not to say that pitchy is his style, you know what I mean? I'm trying to watch what I say, but uh, at this point, I'm, I'm almost really acquainted with his voice, so maybe I kind of overlook some things like that, but I, I think either way, like you said, actually, I think that was a really uh, good point, is that I think he has a good ear. Like, I just think he has a good ear, man. And oh, I think totally. From beginning to end, this this song at least sounds like cohesive um, oh, definitely. Entertaining. Definitely. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, there's nothing, like, egregiously bad about this song whatsoever. I mean, even even nothing nothing bad. I mean, I would just say, again, like, if you – but if you like pitchier, like, vocals like this, like, that a little bit more um, – like, you know, who, you know who I almost, like, liken him to a little bit is Guap Dad 4000. A little bit. 
Really? A little really? bit. Really? Damn. That's a you know that's a specific ask. Could you elaborate? My just on the just on the pitchiness of his of his of his uh, of his delivery because Guap Dad's is Guap Dad's very pitchy. And yeah. but but he's very popular. People really like that. You know what I mean? They like yeah. the off kilter sort of almost like, you know, opposite. Even even Future has songs like that where you can like he tries a note and you're like, dude, what the heck was that? But somehow like he makes it work. You know what I mean? Like, so I feel yeah, that, exactly. So Guap yeah. Dad yeah. four thousand. And the only reason why I said Guap Dad is because of the sort of um, I don't know. Just just again, like I I can't keep using the word pitch, but their their vocal pitches were a little bit similar in that sense like not to say that he's biting guap dad by any stretch or that he sounds like him or he's trying to sound like him definitely not it was just something that had kind of dawned on me um just now actually believe it or not because i think i was i was listening to guap dad's last project not super long ago like maybe a couple days ago and i was thinking about that with with guap dad where i was just like you know some of the songs miss for me for sure so you know what maybe it's just that style because some of Guap Dad's songs hit for me, and some kind of miss. It just depends. Yeah. Um, and well, I think yeah. I think that's that's a good kind of example of uh, when you know sometimes like these artists don't always need to technically be the best artists. No, you know what I no. mean. Sometimes it's a feeling and uh, uh, a personality kind of thing that makes it resonate, and which is what I think Quinn's built up because Quinn definitely has a solid following around here in Western Mass. So yeah. Uh, and like I said, I feel like I've almost become acquainted with his voice to the point where like uh, some of those things maybe I, I brush off just because of how familiar I am or, or whether it's like I like the idea of the song, the concept of the song is solid, which I think is the case with this uh, with this track. But yeah, I still think Quinn has some room for improvement, but the best part is that he's, I think, aware of that and mm-hmm. committed to just putting more stuff out. And I, I, I love that, and and so he's definitely a guy that I definitely want to, uh, you know, keep keep up with because um, there's definitely a uniqueness to his to his his approach, and I'm I'm definitely certainly uh, looking forward to uh, what he does from here. Um, yeah, cer- certainly looking forward to what he does from here, man. So uh, a great recommendation from you, and big shout out to Quinn Re- 